right, hello everyone, and on today's elevator parts video, we'll be taking a look and wiring this Armor General Dover panel. So before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the front. So you can see here, it is a very awesome looking panel. And this was donated to Andrew by Midwest Elevator. So huge thank you to Midwest Elevator for giving Andrew this panel and me the opportunity to wire it up. You see down here, it says General on the bottom. And we also have the two black lines on either side. The buttons here are in pretty good condition for the most part. And there's also this interesting custom please use front button for the, the third floor. Up here on the fourth floor, you can see we have an empty best lock. Uh, there's no core in there, but we'll be fixing that shortly. Here's the door open and the alarm buttons. For the key switches, there are three key switches. We have the fan, the light, and the freight service. And we use these duo keys for that. Simply place those in here. And you can see they turn on and off very easily. And the stop switch up here is a Dover stop switch which was added on sometime in the future. And turning it to the back, we can see how this all works and all of the wiring that's been done on this thing. So as most of my projects normally are, I'm gonna be taking all of the wiring off and we're gonna be completely redoing the wiring. Here's how the buttons work here. We'll take a closer look at those later. Over here, here's how the lock works. So when you place the key in and you turn it, it simply completes the circuit with these two pieces of metal. There's the, two, uh, there's the alarm and the door open button. And up here we have the three key switches and the stop button. So the first step we need to do is take all the wires off. Okay, we have every single wire taken off. You see it looks a lot better. We have our little lamp sockets here and we have all the wires emptied here. So the plan is the first step, we're gonna wire up all the buttons to light up when we press it in and activate this little key switch which will light up number four. Then after that, we'll focus on the other switches and stuff like that. But for now, we're gonna do the actual wiring of the lamps. So we're gonna take a quick look at how these buttons work. They're pretty simple. So basically, the when you press the plastic down, it pushes that contact together, which makes the contact. It's a very simple button right there, you can see. All right, so the basic wiring is complete. So now when you press all the buttons, you can see they all individually light up. So the next thing we're gonna do is focus on this best lock. And Andrew's gonna play with all the buttons now, so. Cool. <laughs> it looks just like a real Dover panel. Nice. So the next thing we need to do is this four button here. So he wants me to add a core to this. So we have a best core. So we're going to place the core in using the control key and we'll hopefully line up the little lock here. There we go. So the best core goes in, we lock it down using the control key and then use the regular key you can see here. We're going to make it where when you turn this, it will light up the four button. So what we're going to have to do for that, but what we're going to have to do is figure out how we're going to attach this on here. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a wire here, but then I'm going to have to figure out how to attach a wire onto this metal piece here. So let's do that now. All right, so there we go. We have the little key switch. So what we end up doing is making a little micro switch on here, just gluing it on there. And then we have the wires connecting that. All right, so we're looking at it sideways here, but here's the core. We're gonna go ahead and place the core in. So we can press the button, obviously, or we can take this key, put it in here, and light it up like that. All right, so now that we've got all of the buttons lighting up, and we got the key working, now it's time to see what we can do with these key switches. So ultimately what I'd like to do is make it, you can turn each key switch on, and it'll light up a separate button, and then wire this stop switch, so when you push it in, it turns them off, and pull it, and you can turn it on. So let's see how that works. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, so the wiring is all complete and this panel is ready to go. So when everything's turned off and just in the basic form, you can simply just press the buttons in and you can see they light up like that. We also have the core, the best lock. So we have the uh, the core, the best lock core here, which we're going to insert in, like so. 
And when we activate the lock, it turns on the floor. You can see how it dims whenever you press it in because it puts more load on the, uh, the battery. On the battery. Door open and alarm don't do anything. Now the stop switch is interesting here, so we're gonna go ahead and press it in. And we're gonna use these key switches and we're gonna go ahead and turn all of them on. So watch this, we're gonna turn all the key switches on. Now we're gonna pull the stop. Watch this. You see they all light up. With them dimmers, how they really look in life. Yep, so now we're gonna turn all of them off and you can actually change the way these things run. So if we turn all the switches off and we pull it, obviously nothing turns on. Now if we place, for instance, on the fan, this one's wired up to just four. The light is wired up to three and two, and freight service is wired up to one and LL. Now another interesting thing you can do is if you press in the stop and press one of the buttons, you can see they all light up, which is kind of cool as well. And you can disable some of those, like if you don't want four to light up, just turn the fan off. You can see only those light up. Four is on its own. Switch that off. You can see now only L and one light up, but these are all separate. And we can turn this off. And now it's back to normal. So there we have wiring the armor panel. What do you think? Thank you, Jason. Right. Awesome. That'll be it.